Hi, welcome to Luxury and Moderation, where we appreciate the finer things in life without going overboard. Today, I'm super excited to share part one of my birthday haul slash vlog. I did a little bit of Hermes shopping for my birthday and I went into New York City, had a really wonderful time in Central Park. I visited some sites that the movie Enchanted was shot in, so it was super fun. I wanted to bring you along and also do my very first unboxing on my channel this year. If you've noticed, I've been really good and I haven't been buying anything because I've been saving and I just wanted to treat myself for my birthday. So before we get into it, if you're new here, hi, my name is Joanne. Every week I upload videos about luxury handbags and other luxury lifestyle products. So if you like what you hear and you don't want to miss out on part two, which is going to be another Hermes unboxing, please consider liking this video, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell so you can join me on my luxury journey. So let's start with my shopping experience at Hermes. I made an appointment to go in early Saturday morning, so there wasn't a lot of people there. I'm trying to build a relationship with my sales associate. He was super nice and helped me look at a couple things that I had my eye on. These ashtrays are a lot larger and a lot thicker than I thought they would be when I was just looking at them on the website. So I'm glad I was able to see them in person. And I actually really like that they're thicker because that means they're not as fragile as normal porcelain pieces. So let me know what you think is in this bag uh, before I do the reveal at the end of this video. After Hermes, we drove to New York City and spent the afternoon in Central Park. It was perfect weather, sunny but not too hot. And basically I looked up where a lot of the Enchanted movie was shot when they're doing that like singing scene in Central Park. So we visited a lot of those sites beautiful architecture a ton of different gorgeous bridges there was also flowers everywhere not only in the park but lining park avenue fifth avenue madison avenue um, it was wonderful to be in the city again Now let's get to the unboxing. So if you guys can tell, it's actually not a box inside. This item did not come in a box. I don't know if that's normal or if they just ran out of boxes at my store, but they just threw it in a big Hermes bag. And here you go. Now, if you can guess, this item is actually a pillow. Oh my gosh. And this is the first time I'm actually touching the pillow. So basically they had this pillow on display, but um, it was sitting on a chair that said, you know, look with your eyes, you know, don't touch it. I'm sure they didn't want like everyone touching everything. So I saw this pillow on the chair. I said, you know, let's get that one. And it didn't even touch it. They just boxed it up for me. <laughs> I just, I'm so excited, I can't even speak right now. But let me tell you a little bit of backstory for why this pillow. Basically, this year I am getting a lot more into Hermes. You know, I really want to be a customer there. I want to get a Birkin. And I know that shopping for some of their homeware items was going to make more of an impression than if I continued to buy um, other bags and shoes like I had been last year. So I started looking at pillows online. 
um, just, you know, their standard basic designs. Um, so that's what I thought was available. Um, so I did go into store intending to look for a pillow. So when I got there, I told my sales associate I was looking for pillows. I didn't know if they had any in stock. So I had no idea what would be available there, but I said, you know, I'm interested in a pillow. Um, and you know, I'm looking for something in gray or blue. And my associate said that he thinks they had some pillows, especially in their like standard block designs, the ones with the square or the H. I didn't want anything with the H because, um, you know, a lot of people have that. I like to be a little bit different. Um, so I just said, let me know what you have. Um, again, something in gray or blue. And he went to take a look. He came back down and he actually said that they did not have any pillows. But while he was looking in the back, I saw this pillow and I liked immediately how it was not, um, you know, the standard one with the H. Um, I liked this color scheme and so I waited for him to come back, tell me he didn't have anything in the back. And I was like, oh, well, why don't you tell me about this pillow? I actually really like it. And I also had no idea what it was supposed to be. Like, you can't really tell what it is, right? It's a little bit abstract. Um, and basically he said that it is one of their very, very famous designs called Brides de Gala, um, but it's been zoomed in. So this is only one small part of that pattern. So I'll show a picture on screen now of what Brides de Gala was originally and a little bit of history behind it because my associate said, you know, it was one of their most popular patterns. They still do it today. Um, it's done really well for them. So he definitely recommended that I look up the history. So basically, this pattern was designed by Hugo Greikar. Um, Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, he was actually the very first designer for Hermes for their square scarves. So really amazing designer for them. He was their most prolific designer. So for this pattern, apparently he and Mr. Dubas, who owned the company, um, they laid two horse bridles on the floor opposite each other. And they were like, wow, that looks amazing. Let's make that into a pattern. They love the simplicity of it. It obviously speaks to and honors Hermes's roots as a saddle and harness maker. And it was also decorated with crests and coats of armor. So once my sales associate uh, pulled up the image and showed it to me, you can definitely see, you know, up here is um, part of that harness and then this part is like the saddle part so not only do I love the pattern I love the soft colors of it it looks gray and white on camera but I feel like in person the gray is has a little bit of a purplish tone which I love as well um, the back is also the same colors but inverted and it's harder to see because the gray part and the I don't know, purplish part is more blended in but there is a little bit of a pattern. It's not just one solid color. Um, there is a zip part here, so you can take the outside off and get it cleaned, which I still have to figure out how to do because I did not research that yet. But first of all, oh my gosh, like I mentioned, this is the first time I'm actually touching it. The outside is very, very soft. I thought it was going to be very coarse um, because it's made out of wool and I kind of associate like big wool things with very coarse wool. So I was actually a little bit worried that, you know, I wanted to get this pillow, but I wouldn't actually like the feel of it. But this feels like cashmere. It's very, very soft. I think I'm gonna be very happy with it on my new couch. That's also kind of why I wanted to get a pillow. We are getting a new couch and, you know, I wanted um, a nice pillow with that. And also another thing you can't tell from just photos is how like bouncy and soft and just, you know, wonderful feeling this is. You know, it's not a very hard pillow. There's definitely a lot of fluff in there. It kind of feels like a cloud. So honestly, I am very surprised at how much I liked this pillow. First of all, that I would be able to find it in store because they didn't have this 
pattern or option available on the website. You know, I didn't even know like this was a possibility. And also having never touched it, never felt it um, before I bought it, which I don't recommend, you know, that's just something bad that I did, just impulse buy in store. Now that I'm actually touching it, I am much more impressed um, than I ever thought I would be. So honestly, Irma's quality continues to surprise me and I'm just really thankful that, you know, I haven't been disappointed yet. So now let me give you some information on the price. On my receipt, it does say Brides de Gala Cushion, 90% merino wool, 10% cashmere. The color is gris and pearl. And now the price really surprised me in store as well. So everything on the website, all the pillows you see on the website are around $600, $620. So I totally expected um, to pay $600 for this as well. But when I asked my sales associate how much was this pillow, he said, let me check. He unzipped the pillow on the back. I guess that's where they keep all of the paperwork. And he was like, oh, it's $500. And, you know, me expecting to pay $600 and it being $100 less, I was like, oh, that's definitely a great deal. And plus for like a pattern that I love that I didn't even know was an option, that's what also really made me think, you know, I can't pass this up. I should really just get this pillow now. Don't know if they're ever going to have this pattern again um, and when it's going to be in stock. So I actually also had... Um, some credit at the store. I also had a gift card for $50. So I actually did end up paying less than um, $500, including tax. And that is just half of the present that I got at Hermes that day. So stay tuned next week for part two. I will show you the present that my fiance got me that I also had been looking at for a while and all the details you need to know that you might not be able to guess just looking at it on the website like I did. So thank you guys for watching. Comment below what you think about my pillow and what you think is in this little box. Thank you for spending your time with me. I really appreciate it. And remember to subscribe below. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.